for this video, what I want to do is show you how to find cubic regression using the TI Inspire graphing calculator. So what we have here is a data set that we're going to enter into our calculator and we're going to look at the scatter plot to see what model best fits it. I've already told you that it's a cubic regression, but I'll show you some features that you want to look for and some things that you might want to try. Um, so the first thing that we want to do is grab our calculator and we're going to enter this into a spreadsheet screen. So if you need to come back to this to get the data, I have it written down on a piece of paper. So I am not going to show the screen at the same time. So if I grab my graphing calculator, what we are going to do is I, you can either just start from the home screen. I already have a new doc document. So you can either start a new document or you can just come down here to the list and spreadsheet screen. So I'm going to go to the list and spreadsheet screen and I'm going to just type in X and Y. Okay. And then we're going to just put our data sets in down below. So for X, I have negative one, negative 0.33, 0 0.532 and 2.7. For my Y list, um, I start with negative 5, negative 0.11, negative 1, negative 4.98, negative 12, and whoops, negative 4.98, it didn't register my enter, negative 12 and 0. Okay, so once you have your data entered, you're going to hit the control button and the letter I for insert. So control insert or control I and we're going to add a data and statistics screen. And this one is very nice about adding the data point. So I can put an X and then I can click to add Y and you can see right away the overall pattern with this. You can see that this point right here curves back up so you can see an obvious upward trend, a downward trend and then it goes back up again. So if you tried to fit a linear model to this, you could look at your R value and see that it's really quite low. You can't look at R itself on this screen. You do have to go to a different page into a calculator screen, but we can see the overall pattern and I can come up with the equation on this screen. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to menu and option for analyze and then option six regression. And you can see all the different types of regression. I want to show a cubic regression. And so if you notice right here, this is the equation that I would use. It's so large it won't even fit on the screen. Okay, um, but this is our equation that we would use for this. And if you notice all of our points um, are on this curve. So it is definitely a good model for these data points. Had I tried to do like a quadratic instead, let's say that maybe instead of, oops, um, maybe we wanted to see what the other models would look like if we happened to put them on here. We could go to menu, analyze, regression, and let's say that maybe we wanted to see what a quadratic model would look like with this data set. So you can see that this one's the quadratic model and it barely goes through any of the point. You could do the same thing with the linear. Um, I know that um, the obviously you can see that the cubic model is the best. But just in case you were looking for different models, um, and I just hit control and Z to get rid of it. If you ever enter something on your calculator, hit control Z and it will take you back to the last thing or it'll erase the last thing that you did. Okay, if you wanted to see your R squared, you can go to a calculator screen and actually see the regression on here too by hitting menu and option six statistics and stat calculations option seven. And then my X list, I would just go to my VARs or I can right arrow over and then hit the X. And then I can go over here and click Y and OK. And you can see that this will also give me A, B, C, and D to plug into my equation. And then it'll also tell me my R squared. My R squared is 0 0.99968, which means that 99.97% of our data is explained by this model, which is an extremely strong model. So the last thing that I want to do is just write down the regression equation. So we would say that Y is approximately, and I'm going to round to four decimal places, just round to wherever you were told to round to, um, 6.2921x squared minus 5.336, and then it really would be zero, but we don't have to write it, 
and then minus 0.9737. So this would be our model that we came up with. And if you needed to know the R squared value or your variability, if it asked you what percent of the variability is explained by this, um, you can see that R squared is 0.9997. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.